In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Dear God, we thank you for everyone watching and listening Ethiopian Christianity here today, and ask that you surround us with your powerful, life-changing presence. Thank you for loving each of us and for calling us to work with you as your servant, Abraham. Bless our time together and focus our minds. Grant us the wisdom which dwells in your treasuries, creating us a clean heart. Glory be to you unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our topic for today's lesson is about the mystery of the Trinity, in the Old Testament, especially in the book of Genesis, chapter 18, verses 1 to 8. Who were the three men who visited Abraham and Sarah in Genesis 18? The identity of the three visitors and who are these three men? Are they angels or Trinity? Abraham was visited by three men one day. The men turned out to be unusual guests, to say the least, and the visit was life-changing for Abraham and Sarah. Genesis 18 contains captivating mystery. It's a fascinating mystery. Before we examine it, let's read Genesis chapter 18, verse 1. To it. In Genesis chapter 18, verse 1 to 8, in according to KJV versions, it says, And the Lord appeared unto him in the plains of memory, and he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. And he lifted up his eyes and looked, and lo, three men stood by him. And when he saw them, he ran to meet them from the tent door, and bowed himself toward the ground, and said, My Lord, if now I have found favor in that sight, pass not away, I pray thee from thy servant. Let a little water, I pray you, be fetched and wash your feet and rest yourselves under the tree. And I will fetch a morsel of bread and comfort ye your hearts. After that ye shall pass on, for therefore are ye come to your servant. And they said, So do as thou hast said. And Abraham hastened into the tent unto Sarah and said, Make ready quickly three measures of fine meal, knead it, and make bread upon the herd. And Abraham ran unto the herd and fetched a calf tender and good, and gave it unto a young man, and he hastened to dress it. And he took butter and milk and the calf which he had dressed, and set it before them. And he stood by them under the tree. And they did it. This is chapter 18 of Genesis and verses 1 to 8. Uh, Genesis 18, the chapter is clearly divided in four parts. From verse 1 to 8, Abraham and Sarah welcomes important visitors, the three men. And verse 9 to verse 15, God reconfirms his promise of a son. And 
verse 16 to verse 22, the destruction of Sodom is revealed to Abraham. And the last part from verse 23 to verse 33, the intercession of Abraham to the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah and their inhabitants. But uh, our concentration for the study of the mystery of Trinity we will see the verses, 18 verses uh, from Genesis uh, chapter 18. Let's go to verse uh, by verses study about the mystery of Trinity in Genesis 18. Uh, verses 1 and 2, And the Lord appeared unto him in the oaks of Mamre, and he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. In verse 2, And he lifts up, Abraham, lifts up his eyes, and looked, and lo, three men stood by him. And when he saw them, he ran to meet them from the tent door, and bowed himself toward the ground, because the Lord appeared him. It is the manifestation of God in threeness and oneness. The meaning of memory in Giz is a palm or acacia tree. In Latin, it's vision or discernment. What we know from the start about the identity of the visitors, Abraham only gradually discovers in the course of conversation. Noticed three men standing by him. The storyline suddenly switches to describing events through Abraham's eyes. When Abraham saw them and he ran to meet them and bowed, Abraham is implicitly recognizing the visitation as a theophany. The word theophany means a manifestation of God that is tangible to the human senses. It is a compound word. Theophany is a compound word of the Greek word theo, which means God, and phaino, which means to appear. That is, a theophany refers to God appearing. It's a manifestation of the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The manifestation of God in his oneness and threeness to Abraham. Abraham recognized God because the Lord had spoken to him many times before Genesis 18. For example, in Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 to 3, when God first called him. In chapter 14, verse 18, 20, when he met Melchizedek, the Ethiopian righteous priest and king. And in Genesis chapter 15, when God made a covenant with him. And also in Genesis 17, when God restated his covenant with Abraham. But then again, Genesis 18 is an appearance and manifestation of God in three distinct persons. So Abraham immediately fell down, although he saw a man with his eyes. And worshipped him as God, because he is God. So, he bowed low to the ground and paid homage. No one had falsified the types of truth. And therefore, Abraham saw three persons, but worshipped their unity. That's why, finally, Abraham uses the word in a plural form, sir. He's addressing all three visitors in the plural. Verse 3 of Genesis chapter 18 says, And said, My Lord, if now I have found favor in thy sight, pass not away, I pray thee from thy servant. Abraham received the three men and served them bread out of three measures. Why is this, brothers and sisters? Unless it means the mystery of 
the Trinity. In the Gospel of John, chapter 8, verse 56, our Lord and God Jesus Christ says, Abraham rejoiced that he was to see my day. He saw it and was glad. The John 18, 53 to 58, as a vision of the pre-incarnate word, Jesus says, before Abraham was, I am. In this reason, Abraham acknowledged the mystery of the Holy Trinity. He saw the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thus, the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Spirit is God. And these three are one God. For individually, each person is complete, God and all three together are one God. That is the mystery of the Trinity revealed in Genesis chapter 18. When you go to chapter 18, verse 4, it says, Let a little water, I pray you, be fetched and wash your feet and rest yourselves under the tree. While blessed Abraham, welcomed those men warmly, he merited to receive God in consideration of his hospitality. Christ further confirmed this is in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 25, verse 35, when he said, I was a stranger and you took me in. Let's go to verse 5. According to verse 5, Abraham said, I will fetch a morsel of bread and comfort ye your hearts. After that, ye shall pass on. For therefore, I come to your servant. And they said, so do, as thou hast said. So, in verse 6, Abraham hastened into the tent unto Sarah and said, Make ready quickly three measures of the meal. Need it and make bread upon the herd. Some biblical versions use cakes in a plural form, but it's not, it's not in a plural form. It's not cakes or it's not uh, breads, but it is one bread or it's one cake. The blessed Abraham serves, therefore, bread mixed with three measures of fine white flour because he received three men. So he says to Sarah, has to the tent and make mixed the bread. Three measures of flour and one bread are symbolizing the Trinity in unity. Everything happened in Genesis 18 and Abraham does. It's mystical and everything is mysterious. And this is the appearance of God in his trinity and oneness to Abraham and Sarah and their family. Not only Abraham, for all family, he revealed, God revealed himself to Abraham. Verse 7 and 18, And Abraham ran unto the herd and fetched a calf tender and good, and gave it unto a young man, and he hastened to dress it. And Abraham took butter and milk and the calf which he had dressed and set it before them. And he stood by them under the tree, and they did it. A calf tender and good. A calf tender and good is another mystery. It was tender, means symbolizes our Lord Jesus Christ, who humbled himself for us to death and laid down his life for the believers. And it was good and fatted. It seems the slaughtered calf in the Gospel of Luke chapter 15, verse 23, to receive a repentant son, which was the prodigal. So, according to the Genesis chapter 18 account of the scripture, Abraham went to meet the three men and adored them as one in the fact that he saw three and he understood the mystery of the Trinity. But since he adored them as one, he recognized that there is one God in three persons. That is the mystery of the Trinity according to the Ethiopian Christianity. Based on the Ethiopian commentary, 
of Genesis 18. The three men are uh, for three angels, but you know, the three angels are for the Holy Trinity. Are the three angels passed the right in Abraham's house? The Father, the Holy Spirit, and the Son dwells on Our Lady, the perpetual virgin, for in runs to take flesh and cleans in preparation to take his special body. Let me tell you another mysterious thing in this Genesis 18. The two went out from Abraham's while the third stayed there. Those two who went are for the Father and the Holy Spirit, and the one who stayed in the house is for the Son. It means that I will redeem you, taking your flesh and soul. All three are the Holy Trinity. Their stay in Abraham's house is a symbol for their dwelling in Our Lady, the perpetual virgin. What is suggested here in Genesis 18 is, of course, the mystery of God as Trinity. Glory be to God. Who is glorified in his sentence? God bless you all. Have a good one. Amen. Yeah, take a barachu, Tamalkachu Chachin, yeah, yeah, Abilak Television, come on, Mir Doctor Zabanella Magarno. Bazi, Bamaro, Metawabo, Banga for the Brachin. Medebragenet, Medanelam, Etup or Turk Story with a Christian, Pallafo, Kizzi, Bolet Tanya Kufel, Malatum, Medabratus can be genu to Chachingar, yet Yakidanamaret, yet a wa, Mavartan you to Chingar and Regnon, we eat Kufel Sostun, our in Jamaralet, our to let go you Gabazalem, then I still. Somebody, you must have to make a dozen about to church and how are you at the board? I don't know. Now, Bazaman in the board about to church and I had to church it. Get a mood and Dilar go get in a savala. Besson bet yet again, Minaragunaber. Maybe you call Sugar, they call Sunabaral. Messa Pasavacho, Bexavir Silona, Gavatachi Ficker Silona, man, Govinacho Zangizi. Yes, Christos, Govinacho. And you must have a touch in Mendelo. No, I don't think I'm going to go to the bar. 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 I'm going to he never gave a port in the man. A battle chachin, I had to chachin, how I reckon, in the Susaratizano. Nanta de Musilo Comacho? Money the Catalachuno. Did you chachin it? Did you chachu the Catalachuno? I had to. Menaragon, you chachin the custom road, a lomal. They took him and you all, but you man asked the Mormodas again. Lindeto my gabanagan, Zimusilamatan, Lindeto Nagar Idil. Atlantic is not a shaker, Mutu, Nagar Idel. Baracatin is an Arab, Zimatan Alar. Covid, our Covid, I'm getting Latin, we are such a nigger tabacan on the Cuchano, the Covid de Bezo, and the Messas and Nagar Mammy in Blanalich. Can the more Pagizu Hulma Camargo is our own. In the Ambro Mateo Tomalcatu Church, by American. I got with the caracoo, I'm going to check
በጣም ትልቅ ትዝታለኝ እዚህ ስመጣም የካን ሀገር መጥቼ ደሞ እና ቤቴ እና ተክዳ ነው ብለ ተከታለች እግዚአብሔርን መስከን እንዴት ደስ እንዳለኝ በጣም 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 እና ይሄን በዚህ ሀገር በክርስቲያኑን ጸሎቱን ወንጌሉን እንደዚህ የማህበር ተናችኑ ስለላላ ተፈልበን መንፈሳዊ ህይወታችንን እየጠበቀልን እግዚአብሔር እግዚአብሔር ይክበር ይመስገን አሜን እግዚአብሔር ይክበር ይሄን ደሞ ለልጆቻችንም ስለወረሱት በጣም ደስ ይላል እግዚአብሔር መጨረሻውን ያሳመረልን አሜን ስለ ሰንበቴ ስታውራንዶ ምን ትዝን አያልን ሰንበቴ በየሳምንቱ ይደረግ ነገር ሙሉ ህዱድ እና እንደውም ኢትዮጵያ ሲበላ የሰንበቴ ቤት መሬቱ ሳሪ ተጎዘቆ ዘን እና ጠረጴዛ የሚበሉበት ራሱ የሰንበቴ ቤት ቴብሉ የእንጨት ነው በእንጨት ዘው እንጀራው ዘው ላይ ተደርጎ ባንድ በግሩፕ የሚበሉት ነገር እሱ ተዝ ስላል ይልን ጋር ይሄን በጣም ደስ አሁን እዚህ ሁለት ለመናገር ስለ ጽዋው በጣም የተማርኩት እዚህ ነው ግን ጽዋውን የማቀው ያው ከልጅነት ጀምሮ በመሳለም በዳቦ በጠላው እንዳለቹ ከልጅነት ጀምሮ ነውና አንዴ ገጠር ካክስቴ ጋር ሄጄ እትይታ በዛው ምትባል አክስታለችኝ ገጠር ሄጄ ነበር ከሷ ጋር ማህበሩ አሁን ስንሄድ በጣም ሩቅ ቦታ ነው የሚቀደው በበቅሎ ምናምን ነው ማህበሩና ይታደራል አይመለስ ታድሮ ነው ሁለት ቀን ምናምን ታድሮ ሁሉም ሰው ወቅሎ ነው አ ቅርብ ያው ነው በእግሩ ላይ ይ ይችላል ግን ከሩቅ ከሆነ በቅሎ በፈርስ ሄዶ አድ አድረን ታድሮ ነው የሚመለሰው ገጠር ረጅም መንገር ስለሆነ ቀኑ ሙሉ ዛውለን አድረን ሌሊቱ ሙሉ እናቶቹ ሲስቁ ከጸሎት በኋላ ተረት ያወሩ የዶሮውን ያወሩ ሲስቁ ጥሩ ጊዜ ያሳልፋን መተን እሱን አስተውሳለሁ ሌላ ደግሞ እኔ ባደኩበት አካባቢ የነበሩ እናት ነበሩን እና እሳቸው ማህበር አላቸው ሁሉ ጊዜ ማህበር ማቀው በሳቸው ነው እናቶቻችን በጣም የሚዛኑበት ነው ደስ ብሏቸው ጥሩ ቀንም የሚያሳልፉበት እቤታቸው ደግሞ ሲገቡ ባሎቻቸው ያንን ተገንዘበው ብዙ ይዛን ቀን ችግር ማይፈጥሩባቸው በይዛሪያን ጭቀን ነው ተብለው ጥሩ የመዝናኛ በማህበራዊ ህይወታቸው የሚገናኙበት የሚደሰቱበት ስለሆነ ጽዋን ከዛ አኳያም በጣም ወደዋለሁ ለማለት ነው እንግዲህ ግን እንቺ የነበርሽ ወደ ደሴ ከም ይመረ ደሴ ምን ነው ከም ማህበርተኛ ብቻ ነው ወይስ እንደው ያካይም ሰው ዝም ብሎ ሁሉ ሄይ ሁሉ ምስላሙ ክርስቲያኑም እየተሳለመ አው እስላም ወረቤቶቻችን መተው ዛሬ ማርያም ናት እንዴ እመች ነው እርሶ እርሶ ነው ያንቺ ማህበር በቃ በቅሏ ነኝ ነኝ የሚፈጨው ብለው እስላሞቹ ወረቤቶቻችን የማርያምን ብቅል የሚፈጩ የሚወቁጡ ናቸው ይሳላሉ ደሞ እንግዲህ ማርያም ይሄን ካደረሰችልኝ እኔ እንደዚህ አድርግላት አለሁ ብሎ እስላሞቹ ናቸው ለማርያም የበለጠ ተስለው የሚሄዱት እና ጎረቤቶቻችን እንደውም ማስተዋወሰው የማርያም ታቦት ሲወጣ በጥምቀት ስትመለስ ብዙም ሰው ስለሌለ ጭር ሲል የኛ ታቦትማ ከማንም ማታንስም ብለው እስላሞቹ ከበው እየጨፈሩ እየዘፈኑ የሚያስከባት እስላሞቹ ሙስሊሞቹ ወረቤቶቻችን ዘመዶቻችን ናቸውና ችግር የለም የነሱን ማህበር ባይሆንም ሌላ በሚሉት እኛና ከበለ እኛን ምንነሱ ያከብራሉ አው ማይጠጣም ማይጠጡም ካሉ ለነሱ ይዘጋጃል እንጂሾ የሌለው ነገር ተዘጋይቶ በጣም ለማይጠጡት አንዳንዶቹ ደግሞ በሞቴ ካልሻቸው ምን ችግር አይደለም ለፍቅር ስለሆነ እንደዛ አድርገን ጽዋን ሁሉም ሰው ነው የሚያከብረው ያትታል ማለት ነው አሁን በህቴ ፍሬ ስትናገር የሰለ ማሐበሮችን ስለ ማሐበር ጉዳይና ጎረቤቱም ልጅማቂም እንደያቀው ተሰብስቦ የሚጠጣበት የሚበላበት ስለሆነ እና የጠላው ነገር ስታነሳ ከእኔ ከዚህ ከመጽሐፍ ላይ ያያዩትንና በጣም ያስደስተኝ ነገር ለማን ለማንበብ የተነሳውበት ጉዳይ ይሄ ነው የእግዚአብሔር ማህበርን እንዳንንቅ 
ማሮሩ የእግዚአብሔር የሚገኝበት መሆኑን እንድናውቅ ስለዚህ ምኖ የግራችንን ጫማ የምናወልቀበት የማህበራችን ጊዜ ከልክ ያለፈ ድግስ እንዳይኖርን የሌላቸውም ሰዎች እንዳናሳፍር የተቸገሩት ከተራቦት የተቸገሩትንም የተራቦትንም እንድናስብ ሌላ እንዳን ከልክ በላይ እንዳን በላ እንዳንጠጣ በተለይም ስካር እዚ ላይ ጠላ መጠጣቱን ሳይሆን በተለይም ስካር የሚባለው በመሐጻፋችን የተከለከለ በህጋችን የተከለከለ ስለሆነ ያንን እንድና ክብር በጣም ያስደስተኝ ፓርት ስለሆነ ነው ለማንበብ ይፈቀድኩት በጣም እና መሰግናለን እና አሁን እንደም ትዬ ክብራ ከተናገርሽ ውስጥ ምን አየው ማሐበሩ ስንደግስ ታቀን በላይ ድግስ እንዳንደግስ ይለና ምክንያቱ ሌሎች እንዳናሳፍር ያለ ቻባላት ማለት እስቲ ያታችናና ሙሴ በማሐበራችን የሚፈቀድ እና የማይፈቀድ ነገሮች አሉ ለከድግስ ገበተ ገናኝ አ ውድድርና እንዳይሆን ይመስለኛል ትያ ክብራ ነበረችን ለክናት እህቴ ክብራ እንዳለችው ማሐበራችን ደምባለሁ ደምቦ ምንድነው አንድ ሰው ማሐበር ሲደግስ የቀይ ሶስት አይነት ምግብና የሚጠጣ ውሃ ብቻ ነው ማምጣት ያለበት ይሄም ምንድነው ያው መጻፋችን ላይ እንደተጻፈው ህጉን ለማክበር ስንል ብዙም ሳንድ ላለ መጥገብለን ለማላለ መስከረም ብለን ነው ስለዚህ ማህበራችን ህጉ ሶስት አይነት ምግብ ብቻ ነው የቀረውን ያው ለናዳ ያንን ሰጣለን እዚህ ሀገር ሳይሆን ለሀገራችን ተርፎን ማለት ነው እግዚአብሔርስ ነው ማመስከራለን ማመ የሚጨምሩ ነገር አለ አይ እኔ እንኳን መጨመረው ነገር የለሁ ሁሉ ነገር ተነግሯል እንደ እንደ መስከረነት እንት ነው መላው ከመጀመሪያው ለኔ ኪዳን አምረት የተማርኩት ኪዳን አምረት ሚሽን ነው ልጄን በወልድ መስከረ ማስ ማለት ነው ኪዳን ሚሽን አቃቂ ነው አይ አይደለም ኪዳን አምረት ሚሽን ነው የተማርኩት ልጄን ወልድኩት መስከረ ማስ ነው እና ለክ የካቲት 16 ያመቱ ነው እና ሩቀን ነው ትዚ ለኛል እዚ ቤተ ክርስቲያን አንድ ጊዜ የዛሬ ባልሳሳት አምስት አመት ወይ ስድስት አመት ላይ ነው ለድርቅ ስብሰባ ስብሰባ ነበር ማታ ነው እና ኢትዮጵያ በድርቅ ለተጎዱ ለተጎዱ ወገኖቻችን የሚደረግ ፈንድሬዚንግ ነበርና እዛ አባል ነበርኩና ስብሰባ ነበር እዚ ማታ ተሰብስበን ልክ ስንወጣ ምን ሀፕን አረገ አላወኩም ጫማ ረዘም ያለ ጫማ ስለነበረ ይዟሪ አውልቅና ከኋላ አረጋዋለሁ የሰለታ ግር ልስቻሉ ዘ ሁልቅ አርጌ ጫማ ምዛ አርጌው ግሬሰር ሌላ ጫማ አርጌ ልሰበሰብ ገባሁን ልክ ሰወጣ ምን ጫማ ረስቻለሁ ልክ በሩ ጋር ሰወጣ አዚ ከደጅ ሎጣ ስር ብሬክ ሊዝል ብሬኳን ይያዛልኝ ለካ ብሬኩ ውስጥ ጫማ ይተቀርቀሩዋል እና መበቴ ኪዳን አምረት ትልቅ ነገር ነው የሰወረችን ካያችሁት ወደታች ወደ ኃይሉ ነው መንገዱ መንገዱ ሁሉ መኪና ስድስ መስመር ያለበት ነው እዛ ውስጥ ነው ምገባው ከሄድኩ ማለት ነው እንብ ይብሉኛል ወደታች ደግሞ ከሄድኩ ቁልቁለት ነው ወደ ባንኩ ወደታች የሚሄድ ነው ከዛ ደግሞ የሚመጣ የሶስት ሌን መኪና አለ በቸርነቷ አትፋኛለች እና እንዴት ቆመልሽ እሱ ነው ጠያቂ እኔ ማላቀው ልክ እንደዚህ ሲል ከወጣሁኝ ወደ ቁልቁለቱ እንደምሄድ ነው እና ብዙ ነገር ነው በዛ ሰዓት ይመጣበኝ አጋጣሚ ሆኖ ግን ምንም በማላቀ ብቻ መሬ በሩ ላይ ተጋጨ የቤተክርስቲያኑ በር ላይ ምንም ከኔ ከተዞርኩበትና ከነበረኝ ስፒድ ጋር ፍሬም ማሰለም ማልችል የደረሰው አክሲዳን ምንም ነገር አልሆነ መኪናን በጣም በትንሽ ነው በሩም በትንሽ ነው የተገጨውና በዛ ምክንያት ቆመ ቀኑ ምን ነበር ማመድ ያመቱ ኪዳን ምረት የካቲት 16 ሩብ ቀን ነበርች ማታ እዚ ተሰብስቤ ሲወጣ ነው እና 
አላወቁም መምህር ዶክተር ዘበነም እህቴ ዲናም ነበረች ተከታተልን ስንወጣ ነውና እነሱ የመሰላቸው ጨልሞ አውቀ የተጋጨው ነውና እንዴ መሲ ምንነካሽ ምንነካሽ ይላሉ አላወቁም ተደና ብር የመጣውት ነው መሰል ምክንያቱ ግን ጫማ እዛ ስር ተቀርቀሮ ነው እንብያለውና ወዲያው ያው መጡ ምንም ነገር አሉንኩም በቸርነቷ አመቤት የበዘፋፋ ወርቃማ ቀሚሷ ሸፍናኛለች እና መስክኑልኝ 